guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi my name is Emily I am 35 years old and I live in Sweden uh, today I just wanted to talk a little bit about my recent not like shop my stash or like makeup weekly makeup basket but this is the items that I have picked out for my collection that is laying in my drawers here so I can pick out every day so I just wanted to show you that just to get some content up and also it's fun to watch back on later on and maybe I can inspire someone to use some of the stuff they already have so if you want to see that then just please keep on watching and I'm actually going to start out with primers and for primers I've actually put all of my primers in this these are all the primers that I have opened and it's too many opened that's why I alternate now so that I can get rid of them so first I have this Milani bright side illuminating primer it's okay I have the face shop air cotton makeup base in mint it's the green primer that I love I have a Ulta Beauty matte fine face primer in a small sample I have the Flower Beauty In Your Prime Illuminating Primer. It's kind of similar to the Milani one. I have the Innisfree Pore Blur Primer. I'm al almost out of this, but I, I like it. I have the MAC Strobe Cre Cream in Pink Light. I like it. And then I have two minis from NYX. I have the NYX Plump Right Back and the NYX The Marshmallow Primer. Um, so those... I'm trying to use, use, use them up before I buy a lot more. I also have I also have this. This is the L'Oreal Perfect Magic Perfect in Base. But I don't think that I have like I have like one use left of this. I've been saving it because I really want to buy more when I go to the US. Those are all of the primers that I actually Those are all the primers that I actually own, I think. Uh, just because I really want to like I also have this this is the Embrolis late cream concentrate uh, it's the famous uh, multifunction moisturizer moisturizer and that you can use as a makeup base um, I do really like it it's like a as I said it's like a moisturizer and it sinks in pretty good to the skin it leaves like a sheen and uh, yeah it has that skincare smell but not too overwhelming i also have that and then for foundations i actually have laid all of my foundations in the same now something happened in the same little container oops just because i i don't really want to buy anything new until I've used some of this up, although I will buy some when I go to the US because they have other shades than we do here in Sweden. But let me show you what I have. First, I have two shades of the Purito Seeker Clean BB Cream. I have 13 Neutral Ivory and I have 21 Light Beige. 21 Light Beige is my favorite. It's the cooler toned one that looks a bit gray, although it's a little bit too dark for me. Uh, here you can see that uh, it's a little bit too dark for me, but I do really love the f love the formula of this. I will definitely repurchase number thirteen. It's a little bit more like yellow. I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, so that's number thirteen, and that's number twenty one. So you can see that even though this is lighter, this is giving me this is almost like melted into my skin, whilst this is too orange i have saved that and i will probably try to use it up but hey um then i have my least favorite this is the fenty beauty east drop blurring skin tint in number one um this is getting pretty old although it's and it's quite light actually uh but i don't really like there it is i don't really like the formula of this so I will probably declutter this because it's going bad but I have it for now and then I have a 
seem to have two opened and one unopened NYX uh, professional makeup bear with me tinted skin veil in number one pale uh, I didn't know that I had two opened um, but this is they have discontinued this, this as I said but this is one of my favorite bases it's that light now I have some had some sun on my arms so I'm a little bit not tanned but I have another color uh, but I love this and then I have two L'Oreal bases actually I have the infallible 24 hour fresh wear in the shade 005 pearl this is not bought in Sweden so I need to buy this when I go to the US um, so you can, if I can swatch this a little Here is, here is, here you have that. I love this. I love the formula of this. I love the color of this. And then actually my, my most recent buy, this is the L'Oreal True Match in 1N. Uh, my sister from England was here and she's a lot more paler than I am. She actually had this to spot concealer with instead of using a foundation. And there you have that. And this is, and then I just, I had to have it. So I bought it. And I do actually love the color and the longevity of this. So I can really recommend L'Oreal bases. They are really good. And that's basically every foundation that I own. Just because I really want to like use them up. So I will repurchase. I will purchase some of the L'Oreal bases when I go to the US. And then I will probably buy the Purito one again when I'm out. Um... Uh, and the NYX is my favorite, but it's discontinued, unfortunately. But those I have here. And then for concealers, I have three opened. Uh, one is getting a bit old. Um, but I have the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer uh, in um, the lightest shade. I love this, wearing it today. I have the KVD Concealer in Light 103. This is like it's not white but it's my lightest concealer that i own so i use this when i use the purito secret clean bb cream i use this to kind of highlight here so it doesn't look that dark and then i have the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer in 320 porcelain and um, this is a lot more like cooler toned um, but it's also a favorite and the flower beauty one i can show you that as well this is a little bit more of a like a oh, i swatched it on top of the other but it's more of a like a cooler toned although it's still like not pink so i have those opened and then i actually have one unopened right now and it's the maybelline Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser in Ivory. Uh, so when I'm out of one of the other, I'm going to open that up. And I don't think that I will be buying any concealers in the US because I think that I'm fine. Maybe I will buy the Flower Beauty one since it's not available here. And But I don't think so. And for my powder right now, I'm using this. This is the Maybelline Fit Me In Fair. Then for my... For my brows at the moment i'm still using the lh cosmetics infinity deep palette and i'm us using that shade there for my brows as you can see i have hit pan uh, i love it for bronzer i'm actually only using liquid bronzer right now uh, and that is the elf powder bronzer in tan lines and you guys can you see this I'm so happy about the progress on that. Then uh, the She Glam Golden Sun Liquid Bronzer. You have to shake it up and then it comes out like this. Uh, it's a little bit more cooler toned. I don't support She Glam anymore, but I want to use this up. And then I have my Milk Makeup Bait. This actually got bad on me. Although it, does, it isn't that old. So... I'm not sure if I'm going to toss this away or buy another one because I do really like it or I'm, if I'm just going to repurchase the elf one but these are my bronzers for, at the moment 
for my blushes I I've taken out four creams uh, and I've taken out one two three four five five powder but I haven't used them so I will just go through with you my creams at first first we have the elf party blush in Caribbean I'm wearing this today um, it's getting a little bit old as well um, but it has that perfect like raspberry raspberry shade and then I have the juicy and pang blusher uh, in the shade pk01 which I think was the strawberry shade it might have been the raspberry one uh, but there you have that this is a little bit more sheerer and then I have the flower beauty blush bomb in Chicky. this is a lot more pigmented and cooler toned it looks like that absolutely love this and then I wanted a cooler toned one so I bought out the brought out the um, Fenty Beauty uh, what are these called freestyle cream blush in cool berry mine looks a little bit weird because I've had it for for a long time it's not bad though but as you can see it has that like cooler toned purple there you have that so those are my blushes that I picked out for July uh, <clears throat> I might actually add one or two because I'm extra <laughs> um, then I also have like I have a powder one from Beauty Act um, I have a Clinique one and Heather Pop um, I have a Kimchi one in Peachy that looks like this I have the Milani Luminoso that looks like this and then I also have the Tinkerbell Darling Super Shock Chic from Colourpop that looks like this but as I said I've been mainly using my cream products so I need to do a declutter soon since I'm not using all of these um, but there you have my current blushes and um, for highlight I actually have this container so I have a little bit to choose from um, at first I have this this is the wet n wild blossom glow highlighter it's what I'm wearing today uh, it's that cooler toned pink then I've actually been using this a lot. This is the Pixie by Petra Glowy Gossamer Duo in Subtle Sunrise. Uh, the darker shade, that shade broke, but I've been using the, the golden one a lot. Uh, it's that one, it's super stunning. Then I have the uh, Benefit Dandelion Twinkle that I've hit the pan on, yay me. Um, this is one of my favorite like subtle blush uh, highlights because it looks like that and it's a bit more powdery and you can kind of blend it quite nice I have the Revlon Skin Lights in Daybreak Glimmer uh, that looks like this it's a, the darkest out of them I think but it's super pretty and then I have the Wet n Wild Bloom Time Highlighter don't sleep on this you guys it's one of my favorites um, okay um, mm -hmm. and it looks like that it's that peachy perfection and then I actually have the Juvia's Place the Tribe highlighter that is a little bit more like cooler toned but I do really like it as well it's that one So those are the highlights that I have here laying in my makeup drawers. Then I've actually stopped using setting spray since I think that that is making my nose and chin cheek chin 
area more what's it called oily uh, but let me quickly just say what eyeshadows I will be using uh, and these eyeshadow palettes have been my go-to now for several months actually so let's start out if I want something green I go with the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast uh, maybe you've already seen this a lot of times but it's one of my favorite palettes if I'm looking for something orange or pink I'm going with the BH Cosmetics Mimosa palette it looks like this it's absolutely stunning on the eyes during summer then I picked out this again this is the dose of colors sassy cns i wore this yesterday and i had forgotten how much i love it so i will be keeping this out now then i actually have five anastasia anastasia beverly hills uh, palettes i have the nouveau which i absolutely love i have the soft glam which is one of my favorite neutral eyeshadows eyeshadow palettes I have been using me my Jackie Aina a lot, as you can see I've had, I have a big pan in that. And then this, this is the Primrose, this is maybe one of my favorites, I do really love that shade. And then I actually have the new one, the Cosmos one, um, that I've been using a lot as well, um, that is absolutely stunning. So those are the eyeshadows that I've picked out and basically used for the last couple of months because I think that um, the formula on these are exceptional and also on the dose of colors and the DBH cosmetics. So I rarely go into any other palette. I will need to uh, I will need to switch it up soon because uh, my other palettes need to get love or decluttered. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but that is my recent, as I said, not makeup basket, but like what I've been using and why. Please leave a comment down below if there's any eyeshadow palette you want a deeper look into. I can make a look with that or what, uh, maybe you can write to me and say what your current favorite is. I would love that. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not uploading that much and that is because I work full time and I have a three year old um, soon it's summer vacation and we're going to the US again and I will be sure to update you when we arrive home again what I bought uh, because I know you love those kind of videos I will not go ham this time I think I need to like cool, cool it down a bit with my shopping uh, but anyway thank you so much for watching this I do really appreciate it please leave a comment down below if there's anything you want to see more in depth as I said and um, please like this video if you did it would mean the world to me and thank you for sticking around and until I make another one you guys please take care bye